Hello everyone. If you're interested in using groups in your course, what you can do is, uh, right now I am on in Blackboard. This is my Blackboard course. And on the left hand side, the control panel, you can see groups. If you click on groups, I can create a group and choose manual and role. I can give the group a name, let's say the red team. In description, I can write something about the red team. Is the group is visible to students? You want to keep that uh, yes. Under tool availability, here you can choose which tools will be available to the group. If you want the group to have blogs available uh, uh, capability, you can choose to uh, the blogs. If you don't need that, you can uncheck blogs. You also have discussion boards, email, file exchange, but most importantly, uh, we have what's the Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. And so this is what, uh, most importantly for us, if you want to allow uh, group members to create and access session recordings, I suggest to uh, checking this box here so that if you are going to join the group and um, uh, if I'm going to join the red team and I am going to um, ask them to critique and if you want to record that session you will be able to record the session by checking on the allow all group members to create and access session recordings. So if recordings is important to you make sure to check that box off and go make sure you go through uh, all these tools because you will have to decide which tools are necessary for the group. Once you're done with that, make sure to go to the membership area and click on add users. This is where you will assign uh, students to a group. So I will, uh, I will add myself to the red team by clicking on the checkbox next to my name and then on the bottom right hand corner clicking on submit. So now as you can see for this red team I added Jose Diaz preview user to the red team. Lastly, click on sub the submit button on the bottom right. And now you can see that the red team has one enrolled member. Now I will go in as a preview uh, user. If you go to the enter student preview mode, click on that. And now I am I am in as a student. So if I click on groups, you, you can see if I click on groups, I am enrolled to the red team. If I click on the red team button, now it takes me to the group. And so now I have access to the collaborate tool and all the other tools that I decided to be available to the red team. So if I click on the collaborate uh, link here, it will take me to the red team group session. And then I click on join the room. And you see red team here. So now I'm entering the red team room where now only members of the red team can join uh, this uh, room. And just remember to have your students turn on their audio and their microphone, their, their microphone and their webcam. And everything works the same as we've been doing uh, in our practice sessions. They have access to the chat bubble, the attendees tab, share content. They can share the whiteboard, application screen, and they can share files, polling. And then you can also break out into groups, subgroups of the group. You also have access to the settings where they can troubleshoot their camera and microphone this way. Uh, you can also record the session by clicking on start recording and then you can also leave the session by clicking leave the session. So this is how you would do uh, a group using the Blackboard group feature. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email me um, and uh, thank you.